It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading, and uh, I'm in the garage today, and I have to make a chick feeder. Um, I'm in a big rush because I'm going on holidays. Uh, people are going to look after the uh, chickens, and my chicks are getting to the size that I have to put them somewhere. And uh, I have a little closed-in area for that purpose in the chicken coop, but I don't have a proper water, and I don't have a proper feeder. So this time I want to build a fairly substantial sized chick feeder so they won't have to keep filling it up all the time uh, and it'll last quite a while. So let's go. I dug around the shop and I found some scrap wood so I'm going to cut the two sides of my feeder. I got the both sides cut. I'm gonna cut the back and the front. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna make them about that thick, so. Okay, so you can see what I'm gonna do is put a slanted back. So you put the feet in the top. It slants forward to the tray, and I'm probably gonna put the front on a slope, a slope too. So then, when I uh, fill this area, it'll feed down and into the tray, and it'll have a decent tray. So what I'm gonna do is mark where I think this board should go, and where this board should go. And I'm gonna mark some holes for screws. I'm gonna pre-drill them. Let's go get the drill. So I marked where I want the drill holes to be gonna pre-drill them. Okay, so since this is gonna be exactly the same Side, I'm going to drill my other one and use this as a template. I bought some screws uh, in the hopes that I was going to make big feeders, big wall feeders for my chicken coops. Um, and then this is kind of a side line thing. Uh, so now I'm using all my screws, so I won't have enough to do the uh, other feeders, so I'll have to go back and get more. So we're gonna start screwing them together. Once I get these other ones lined up, then I can just go to it, go to town. Oh no. Battery's getting dead. Did I charge up the other one? Just keep going. Run. 
punch on the back. And once you know that is in the right spot, you can go through. Uh oh, I missed that one. Okay, so I got half of it made. So I got half of it assembled. So now you can see I dumped the feed in and the feet goes down and it falls into the tray on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna put something for the front lip, which will be my uh, front of the tray for the chicks. Oh well. You know what, all this stuff, a, a, a feeder will cost you about 49 bucks here. I don't know how much it is where you live, but... And I find that it probably won't last any longer than this will. Honestly, they make them out of very light steel and they start uh, rusting enough that clips come off, stuff stops working. This is not fine cabinetry. I have to make this level so my um, base will go on it. So I just have to take this edge off. So there, so now I can bolt it on. Now we gotta find out how big this is. Okay, the best way I have found to do this quick is basically use your item you're doing as a template. Causes so much less grief. Okay, so now I'm going to screw this down. I decided to use pretty solid plywood. You know what? This thing will probably last a few years without being painted or anything. So, if I actually went and I painted it, probably it'd last longer. When I said a chick feeder, it's more um, 
juvenile chicken. Because I have a little tiny chick feeder, a little tiny chick feeder one. And, but when they get a little bit bigger and they have to go into the uh, have to go into the coop is where the issue is. Okay, so there we go. They can actually, the food will drop down. They should be able to access it here. Okay, so now I have to make some sort of flat top out of this mess, so I'll uh, show you. Cut that didn't get a video of. Uh, whenever I make something that's slanted and it's got slopes, you're gonna have to cut this piece at the right angle. And I'm not a mathematician, so I always assemble the thing and then I run it through uh, the uh, table saw each side of like this. And then you have the perfect angles to put a uh, flat lid on top. Otherwise, you have to do a whole bunch of calculations of angles and everything, and I'm just not into that. I find this is way easier. So now we're going to put a lid on it. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to put a flat lid on it. Uh, when I make my other chicken feeders, I'm going to put a slope so they can't stand on it. But for the chick feeder, I don't think it really matters so much. So I'm going to make a pivot so I don't need to deal with hinges. Um, but when you do that, you got to watch out because it'll actually tighten up the screw in the hole. Okay, so now we got the lid. We're just gonna make the hole just a bit looser. Then throw our screw in. Okay, so there it is, it's all done. Uh, you fill it up, you close it, and you don't need latches or hinges or anything like that. It's basically screws and leftover plywood. So we're going to throw this in the uh, chicken coop with the chicks and see how they like it. Hey guys. Okay, so we're going to fill up the little chick feeder. So inside my chicken coop, I built a little area so I can put the younger chickens. So they have a safe place from the bigger ones. And uh, here I put my two waterers out and I, you always put them a little off the ground or they'll just kick shavings immediately into it. And, and here is the chicken feeder I just made, so let's fill it up. Okay, so down here is where they grab the food and it's just deep enough uh, that I think that they won't waste much um, and they can easily grab it. So let's go get the chicks. Ooh. The chickens I ordered were brown layers and I've got one that seems really, really white. So I'm wondering if it's a meat bird, possibly, or it is a um, leghorn, but it's definitely different. So there we go. So uh, the feeder is in place, and I got the two waters, and they seem pretty happy. So you guys have a good one.